What's going on guys? Welcome to Cole Plays. My name is Cole Spire and this is Nier Automata and I believe this is part 11. Now I have a confession to make. I've been grinding a little bit without recording and I wish I sh would have been recording because I accidentally fell into the hole that we were supposed to go into and there was a whole boss fight about Adam and Eve that uh, you guys did not get to see and that is all my bad, so I apologize for that. But I will, uh, I will bring them up real quickly. Okay, so this is Adam. This, I believe, is the android from the first one. Uh, it says this unit has achieved an unusual level of evolution among machine life forms, as it possesses a strong resemblance to androids. Born naked from a cocoon of machine life forms, its movement was initially quite clumsy. It grew rapidly, however, and promptly began to learn new methods of attack. Adam again was again encountered inside the alien mothership. That's right. I'll go down there and I'll show you guys again. Uh, it's an alien mothership, so hopefully uh, you guys can see all that. Strangely enough, he spent part of the fight lecturing his foes about how the aliens met their end at the hands of the machines. Deeply fascinated with mankind, he seeks to dissect the surviving humans on the moon. Fun. And then Eve. This is Eve. This is actually who you were fighting. Now, Eve is very androgynous, except for the fact that they're shirtless and they have no um, memory glands. Uh, this unit has achieved an unusual level of evolution among machine life forms, as it possesses a strong resemblance to and androids. It's first appeared. It first appeared after splitting off from another machine. Eve was again encountered in the alien mothership. He has the ability to regenerate, no matter how many times he is killed, and adores the unit known as Adam thinks of as an older brother. So, yes, those are the two wonderful people that I ran into with the last one. So I am going to go show you the mothership, and we will go on from there. Now, what it wants me to do next is it wants me to go back to... Uh, it wants me to go back to... The, the, the satellite base, and I am not quite ready to do that yet. You can't go fishing in here. I don't know what I want to, what you would catch. So there's not, I mean, there's not a lot to it. It's just this big spherical thing. This is the mothership, or what used to be the mothership. And unfortunately, I can't really show you. I fight the boss. But these things right here, these ugly looking things, those are the aliens. Move out of the way, 9S. And Adam and Eve, or the machines, apparently killed them. Some more over here. And then Adam, this is what Adam and Eve is talking about. The aliens were killed already by the time all this has gone down. So the machines did all of this. Here is a look. Look at this. This is deep, deep underground. So now I don't know if the machines did this on purpose. Uh, the big Goliaths coming down and exploding to show us the hole where the mothership is. Now, if they did, that's kind of interesting, because it's kind of going, hey, look, this is this is where your problem is. It's not with us. But at the same time, it could have been a complete accident. I, I still am very interested in figure out, figuring out which is which. Now, if you remember... We had to kill those three androids. So that's one of the reasons we're going back. 
save really quickly just in case. And then we're going to go back to the bunker. That concludes our report on the events surrounding the alien wreckage. Then they were dead this whole time. The Council of Humanity needs time to formulate a plan. Until then, this information must be kept confidential. Speak of it to no one. Of course, your next mission is to get Why is that? Intel on the individual known as Pascal. You mean that freaky machine we ran into? This order comes directly from the Council. Knowledge of such unique individuals is essential for the success of future missions. Understood. Hmm. They want us to keep something really important, you know, like the aliens being dead from everyone. That doesn't sound... That doesn't sound good. That sounds a lot like they're trying to cover something up. I've got double the mail. I I I don't like that. I'll rest if I feel like it. Damn right. Tell me what to do, bitch. All right, so ten bucks. Fish. I knew this was gonna be something. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue, but I've got a fish I want to recommend to your high units. Or, or to be more specific, I want you to eat it so I can study how its oil affects a your high unit. You know, for science. I hate jackass, I really do. Starting to get bored. Stop by, it's my treat. Wonderful. Alright. Sender. This is from Pascal. My friend, it feels as if we haven't spoken in quite some time. As it turns out, many stores in our village recently acquired a number of new items, and I wanted to be sure that everyone from Yorha was aware of this. It would I would be so delighted if you would commit to memory that there are some out there who, despite being machine life forms, are willing to open their hearts and share such valuable information. Yours in friendship, Pascal. I know I'm supposed to be identifying with 2B as if not just flat out being to be um can be pretty rough sometimes huh we don't get to choose our assignments and you should work on keeping your opinions in check your heart aren't allowed to be emotional remember i think some of us are better at that than others speaking of emotion those adam and eve units sure seemed less than logical i'm heading to the transporter fine Um, but I'm, I'm really starting to, sorry, I'm really starting to identify, I, okay, not necessarily identify, but, uh, shh, she's sleeping. Um, think that maybe the robots aren't the problem? Uh, just a thought. I mean, it's just a thought to me. I'm thinking it seems more like um there was a quest in here. Aha! Is that you? Yes, but Thank goodness, my name is 16D, and that's not the size of her boobs. My instructor, 11B, was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she... She was shot down during the battle. Ouch, that's that's heartless. I see, what a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. I don't know. No, it's not my place to be asking you this, but, well, if you happen to run across anything of hers, would you mind bringing it back to me? It's not a priority or anything, just if you have time. Keep an eye out. It's a 
yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory. Oh, I get to go back to the factory! I'm sorry, I was excited that I got to go back to that place and explore it a little bit more. I think that's what that dot was that I was trying to get to. So hopefully... Here, operator. Mine has got left behind. I have a feeling going back to the resistance camp is going to open up a whole slew of things for me to do. That's a Yorha unit. Analysis. Yorha Type B body confirmed. It belongs to the missing unit known as 11B. So this is where you landed. Pod, can you access her black box? That's fucked up. Unit 11B's black box has been irreparably damaged. Hmm. Proposal. Unit 2B should recover any usable weapons. Fragmented data detected in memory region. Eleven B's escape plan. Uh, Last time, two minutes thirteen. Reactivation complete. A check on my body reveals various failures. Communication functions have been destroyed. I cannot contact my team. With a bunker, I leave a draft of this message here at the log. Elapsed time, 10 minutes 13. I verify a plan once more. Using my supposed disruption in this sort, sorte as a guise, I sever all communication. I then pass beneath the abandoned factory and escape. Further analysis reveals that I took anti-air fire while in flight unit, resulting in damage to my body. No matter, it can be repaired. Last time, 15.21. I'm cold. My sister and sensory systems seem to be failing. 33.12. Noise has started to cloud my vision. Virus warnings appear frequently. It is unclear whether I am infected or if the system is in error. This is horrible. 33.21. Repairs are proceeding poorly, perhaps because I'm flustered. Pursuers will come if I don't move soon. Was I wrong to attempt escape? 3331. I'm scared. I want to go back to the bunker, but I can't restore communication. 38. This can't continue. I can't stay here. I have to run. Your heart, your house squadron was wrong. I have to find somewhere safer. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Last time, 4500. Painful, it hurts. Help, why stop? Who am I? Wrong, wrong, wrong. I need to run. She was planning to go AWOL. Violation of regulations detected. However, due to the death of the unit in question, corrective punishment is impossible. Fuck you, dude! That's messed up! That's horrifying. We just read her last moments. It's horrible. I don't know how to feel about that. And what's even worse is they didn't send me to go look for her, and I've been down here. bothers me. <laughs> Let's go give her the bad news. Like, the really bad news. I don't want to tell her this.
another big body along with this weapon. Battle log is still intact on this. She must have fought right up to the end. I always knew she was the bravest of us all. Thank you, too. But I think you should keep it. You're a combat model, after all, whereas I'm a defensive unit. I'm sure 11B would ha be happy knowing it was being put to good use. Or how you blade? Oh! Oh, I wish I would have saved. <sighs> oh, hey, they were in a relationship. She promised to protect me. It all seemed so romantic at the time, but now she can't. I've been thinking of converting to a combat model like you and her. That way I could avenge her death. Anyway, thank you. Oh, and here, you should take this. I don't have a reason to protect myself anymore. So I don't feel completely horrible, just partially horrible. It's just a standard blade right now. I'm gonna go pound sand or something. Oh, that's bad. Should I have told her? Should I have told her the truth? I mean, would that have made it better? I mean, she said she was in a relationship with... with 11B. Would that have hurt her? Maybe? I'll, I'll buy him out another time. I'm... I'm, like, still a little distraught. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's it for me for this episode. I really don't know what's going on. So, what have we learned so far is they don't want us to tell everybody else that the aliens are already dead. They want us to investigate the peaceful machines and I just lied to the girlfriend of a dead unit that was left to decompose and shut down on her own when I was down here and could have gone to rescue her they could have sent me to go save her but Yorha didn't I don't even know what to think about all this but I'm again eager as always to find out more. I will be playing this some more. I hope you join me next time. My name is Cole Spire. This has been Cole's Plays Near Automata, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. All of the relevant links are down below. See you guys later.